Jeff. Um, and it's a, a real pleasure to be here. Um, I think Jeff answered the who I am. Um, so I'm actually going to try uh, follow all of the open access Philly rules today. Um, I know I didn't do that last time, but um, I am going to attempt that. And this is really why I'm in Philly. Um, this is what Mayor Nutter said to Jeff and me. Um, Jeff used to be the co-director of the Mayor's Office of New Urban Mechanics. Um, when we started the office three years ago. So if you don't fail, you're not trying hard enough. Um, and this is not something that 26,000 employees of the city of Philadelphia get told by their boss every day. Um, we need inside government places to fail, places to experiment, um, and to really create a culture um, where we can bring new resources to solving the incredibly complex um, and challenging um, issues that we're dealing with every day in the nation's fifth largest city. We are the fifth largest city. Phoenix is gets known. Um, I know that we continue to grow, so that's an awesome thing. Um, and because Nigel Jacob from Boston isn't here, I'm actually going to show a quick video which sort of highlights one of the, the really interesting sort of the opportunities I see inside civic innovation. And then I'll talk about something really sexy like procurement. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to kick it off with this. me feel really good about government, which is not something that like, I think most people experience on a daily basis. And it was one of the things, and I was giving a, a, um, a speech last week on performance in government, and I showed that video as like one of the examples that I see as like, that's a really high performing government when those are the types of problems that you're solving. Um, I, granted, Boston has a lot of other challenges as well, but it was something that you know, when Mayor Nutter heard about the Mayor's Office of New Urban Mechanics in Boston and bringing sort of new approaches to civic problem solving, he was like, I want one of those. Um, so he came back to Philly, um, and we've really been at the forefront of this national movement, um, international movement on civic innovation. And it's something I think we'll all hear, you know, a little bit more about what mayoral candidates are thinking about this. Um, but my goal is to make sure that over the next four or eight 20 years, Philadelphia remains at sort of the forefront of this this um, this sort of momentum, um, you know, building movement on civic innovation. I think the work that we're doing, the Mayor's Office of New Urban Mechanics, the work that Adele and his team, particularly Aaron, and I know Jumbe is going to uh, add to that um, in terms of the capacity that we have in other places of the city, and you'll hear from Todd and Archana. Um, I think that there's a lot going on, and I want to make sure that that continues happening. So I'll tell you a little bit about some of the work that we do. Um, New Urban Mechanics is, sort of, as Jeff said, this civic idea innovation shop. Um, we try to broker deals sort of between different people who have ideas, um, maybe outside or inside government, and other people inside government who have challenges that they're looking to solve. Um, we run a lot of small-scale pilot projects. I'll tell you about some of those through a program that we have called Fast Forward. Um, but we're also this summer going to be doing um, a project that's maybe a little bit more similar to what you saw in that Married in Boston video, um, working on sort of wayfinding inside and around City Hall. Um, and we want to be this place where we're allowed to experiment, we're allowed to fail. We can kind of aggregate some of the risks associated with failure and encourage other departments across the city to try new things. And I think through our work, we actually hit all of the open access Philly um, value points. Um, in terms of open data, uh, we've opened up a lot of the city's insight 
um, in terms of the way we approach problem solving through Fast Forward. Um, we've opened up a lot of challenges to the broader community, to entrepreneurs, to designers with ideas. Um, our work around access and inclusion, we worked uh, focusing on public safety um, and making sure that entrepreneurs and startups are actually able to access um, some of the city's procurement opportunities. Um, and in terms of civic tech growth, we want to support you guys, and we're trying to support this community through a variety of different initiatives, primarily fast forward. Um, so two years ago, we were one of five winners of the Bloomberg Philanthropy's Mayor's Challenge. Um, we were awarded a million dollars to kind of come up with um, new ideas for, for problem solving inside government. Um, we had very strong ideas for how we were going to engage entrepreneurs how we could reframe our urban challenges as market-based opportunities, um, how we could accelerate some of these solutions, and how we could then pilot some of them inside city government. And this is a collaboration um, amongst the Wharton Social Impact Initiative and Good Company Ventures. Um, and then there was this whole other idea of, a, oh shoot, we actually have to reform the way that we do procurement inside government, the way that we frame our challenges, write our RFPs, um, engage the vendor community, and I, um, I think one of the biggest successes that we've had in that, um, in that <coughs> is actually sitting in the blue suit right there. Um, the fact that we were able to uh, convince them uh, to give Andrew Buss a lot of credit for um, convincing Adele um, in the Office of Innovation and Technology to bring someone on um, with a full-time job to start looking at what are the ways that the city can really work um, more effectively with the vendor community that we can um, we can be a more open place for um, for different vendors. So you'll hear about uh, I'm gonna just you know pump the ball and let Todd talk about that entire incredibly complex um, body of work. But as we look through fast forward, we wanted to you know make sure that we were solving challenges where there was actually a real opportunity there, where we spend money, where we have leaders who are open. Um, to engaging with different people, um, where there was a lot of, you know, this is a major area of need, um, and we were able to get entrepreneurs from across the country and across the globe to come work with us, to come to Philadelphia from Chicago, from Boston, from Austin, from Atlanta, um, and you know, get get people who, um, actually, let me re reframe that. Um, but the way that we typically, I think, approach problem solving inside government is through RFPs. Um, and the way we write a lot of our RFPs, we assume inside government that we have complete understanding of a problem, and then we prescribe a solution. And we didn't think that that was the way to invite the most innovative individuals and ideas into our orbit and into our ecosystem. Um, so through Fast Forward, we were able to engage entrepreneurs by saying, here are a couple of areas within this public safety opportunity that we see as real opportunities, but bring your ideas. We're not going to tell you what it is that you need to do. We want to work with you um, to help apply some of these ideas into, um, into the context inside the city of Philadelphia. Um, so we've had 20 different um, entrepreneurs come through this program. We're currently piloting with two of them. We're going to release an RFP in the next couple of weeks. That is a much improved RFP that is written in sort of conversational English as opposed to legal English that hopefully makes it a lot more accessible for entrepreneurs without legal teams um, to respond to. Um, and then we'll work on scaling some of these. So I've talked a little bit about Fast Forward in the past year. Yeah, got it. Um, and, and where we're going now is really focusing on what we need to do in-house, um, making sure that we institutionalize some of the lessons that we've learned that we change the rules, that we open up our problem solving, that we work with the folks in procurement, in law, in risk management, um, to ensure that the work that we've done with these entrepreneurs is something that remains over the next 5, 10, 20 years. Um, my six words, innovative approaches to civic problem solving. Um, I am very proud of myself for actually following the rules on that one. Um, but at the end of the day, I think this is really, like, this work is all about the culture inside city government. I think, you know, the fact that we have a number of different people here from city government who weren't um, sitting on this side, you know, two, five years ago, says a lot about the culture where we want to be more conversational with individuals outside. Um, and
And at the end of the day, this is um, the, the late mayor of uh, Boston, Tom Menino, who said we're all urban mechanics. And I think that's, the, um, that's what I want to leave you with, and that's what I hope um, the future of problem solving inside Philadelphia city government becomes. Thank you. Thank you.